Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 with the Rude Man. We're back on Saxony. And I'm going to take off right where we left off. So, let's see. I was getting lime in that big new lime thing. I don't know why I don't need lime right at the moment. But we better get back to it because if we don't, it's going to be in the way of other rigs. So, I need to move it. I need to move it, move it. Um, Uh-oh. What's happening here? Ew. This isn't good. Let's see here. Which one do I move? I'm going to move the truck. Because I think the truck's holding up the combine. So let's let's stop the truck and see if that will let the combine move. Let the combine take off again. They do have a little bit of problem when they get to the end of the field if the truck has to maneuver any. Sometimes they kind of get in each other's way. Let's go ahead and start this fella and see if he wants to catch up. Um, looks like Alan Clark has got a full grain tank. So who's driving this again? Troy Sawyer's got that one. Rose Crowder is still in the corn truck. And we need to find that fertilizer doodly-doo. I did make some changes uh, in the fields in between now and last episode. Sean McConnell still doing the wheat. Uh, Alan Clark is in the grain in the corn, but I think Rose has got him covered, so I think everything's going to be okay. So there's the lime guy. Let's get him started. He's full now. And let me turn around. Here's what I'm not sure about this farm. I don't see any way of getting the lime. Okay, no, that's the lime. What was this over here? I keep forgetting. Whoops. Storage for herbicide. Really? But how do you get the herbicide out of it? Does it just magically appear? I mean, come out or something, or I—I I don't know. I'm not—I'm not sure. Well, anyway, changes. I said I made some changes. Let's take a look. Um, I bought a couple other fields. Is what I've done. Uh, that's not probably the best way to see it. Let's go to here and here. And what I did was we—we we originally start off with one, two, thirteen. 11 and 9. Remember when I drove through that grass field and I thought, well, I wonder if we own that? We do. It's an actual field. It's right here. Um, after I left the last episode, I got curious about how much these other small fields around the farm would uh, would hit me, uh, hit my pocketbook for. And not very much at all, actually. So I did purchase them. 6, 7, 8, and 10. So we now have all these fields right around my farm right here and it actually didn't cost me very much money at all uh, I think number 10 was only like 99,000 6 was 106,000 I mean they were pretty reasonably priced 8 was the most expensive one and it wasn't over a couple hundred thousand dollars so I did go ahead and purchase those I don't know exactly what's on them we could look I mean I think it looks like 6 has canola on it if you see the color coding here Seven is, uh, 11 is corn. It looks kind of orangish. So it looks like there's more corn down here. Uh, seven is a little bit brighter yellow than the wheat. So what would seven? This must be sunflower seeds because the sunflower seeds are pretty yellow. And then eight is kind of dark greenish, which is what? Hard to say. What color is barley? Barley's kind of brownish. I don't see anything that's that's dark green like that, like eight. I must be missing it. And then uh, I guess that's it. All right, we'll have to go down and take a look. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's down this way. All right, so this is... Where's my map? Okay, so this is owned by uh, us, and it is corn. And then sunflower seeds, I was right on that. This is um, 
Soybeans. Soybeans. Okay. Okay. So soybeans. And then uh, the six was... Six was... Canola. And it's not ready. Canola's not ready. Oh my goodness. I should come down here and fertilize that. Because it's not ready to pick yet. This is still growing also and there's no fertilizer on it at all. Oh boy. This one is ready to harvest. So that's too late to put anything on. And the corn was ready to harvest. So six and seven could actually use some fertilizer. Uh, before we, So we can get a better yield on those. But I don't have fertilizer spreader. Uh, I do have... I do have a spreader. I don't have... I don't have the spray rigs that I normally use. I could buy them, I guess. So, we could do that. Let's do our normal thing here. Let's do bright red for herbicide. And then we're going to do fertilizer. Uh, I just went with white, didn't I, for fertilizer? I think I did. Back, back, back. Let's go get those. I want to get that done before the crops change. And uh, so let's find those rigs at the shop. What's he doing? He's so full, he can't get any more. What's he waiting for? Christmas? Alright, where are they? There they are. Okay, let's do the fertilizer one first because I didn't see any weeds yet, so... I'm pretty sure I left the weeds on so that we're going to have weeds. And I did put the plowing uh, on the... So we'll have to plow, and the lime, of course, is on. We know that already. Um, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, 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 we're okay. All right, is this one of them? I believe it is. Let's just spread our wings here. You know, this isn't going to do me any good until I put fertilizer in it, is it? <laughs> what was that? Somebody got paid $958. These guys are... Where'd that shadow go? I saw a shadow just on the ground and it just disappeared. Let me in. I, I want to get to some of this production because I'm curious to see if the game broke it. That'll be uh, not good. You'd think a, a game that uh, comes out every time it gets a new iteration of the game, nothing changes. The game still plays the same. You would think that since modders are the ones that's keeping the game going, they'd make it easier for the modders to use it that is not liquid fertilizer. Yes, it is. Or is it? Uh-oh. Did I put fertilizer in twice? Uh-oh. I don't think I put liquid fertilizer in. I think I put fertilizer, regular fertilizer in twice. Oh, that's silly. That's got to go. Um, shoot. What a waste of money that was. Not the first time I've done something like that. Can't complain too much. All right, we're going to go to the garage. And let's see if we get, choose the right one, though. I don't want to get rid of the other one and we have to rebuy it. You can't move them. I wish you could. I wish you could move it. So there's fertilizer. 
Yep, I got fertilizer twice. Let's hope it's this one. The last one I bought. Let's sell it. And it should be that one. Okay, and it's not going to let me put another one in. I don't think because I think that tractor's probably in the way. Let me let me move that out of the way. Just in case. Can't believe I did that. Well, I can. But simple mistake. No biggie. No big deal. Whoops. Get out of there. Miscellaneous. All right, so seed, lime, herbicide, Fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. Okay, that's the one we're going to put in there. Come on. What's going on? Quit fooling around. The game's fooling around with me. Well, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Right there. Okay, let me spin this around where I can see. And a little touch that way. There we go. Let's see if that helps get the stuff that I need to get. There we go. Liquid fertilizer. Let me run around and see what else is going on. Anybody else need help? What's happening? Trains are not running. Uh, corn is full. Looks like the truck's coming this way. He's coming to save the day. Here I come to save the day. Uh, we don't have any animals. I'm trying to decide whether I want to buy any. Good lord. My money's just going out left and right there. I guess I could bring this guy in. While I'm waiting. Okay, fertilizer guy looks like he's full. $12,000 it cost me in fertilizer. Open up gate. Let me in. Come on, I have a permit. What's going on? There it goes. Gee whiz. He wasn't going to let me into my own farm. Why is there a gate to let people into my farm? I don't understand. Herbicide, fertilizer. Now, I hope that herbicide guy's not in the way for the corn truck. I'm going to have to move it because it just might be. Okay, let's go get that guy. He's full. Let's get him out of the way because I don't want the, the corn truck having any hazardous things in the way. Let's park this guy in here. Okay, this guy is ready. Okay, let's see if we can get this going. This is field 
six. So let's do that. We're going to do course generation field six. Uh, do 48.5 meters. I'm going to do one headland, I guess. Or do I need a headland? Do I? I doubt it. Let's not do a headland and see what happens. Whoops. Not do a headland and see what happens. Okay. And then that was field six. Field six. Uh, let's see. Uh, Furt herb. All right. And then it's going to go the other way. It's chosen to go this way. So we're going to go this way. I hope this works. Without a headland, this piece of equipment is probably too big to be using on this kind of a field. The size of a field, I should say. But let's uh, let's see what happens. Well, thinks. So. Uh oh, what happened here? What in the world? Did he got. He must have got knocked around by the truck. Now I didn't do a course play route for this, so I don't know what happened there. But it looks like he got knocked around because that's. If you notice, the cut there looks curved, like maybe he got pushed around by the truck, probably. All right. Okay, that truck just got back. That truck is just sitting there waiting. Waiting and waiting. Okay. Somebody needs to be unloaded. Is that the corn? No, it's the wheat. So, and here comes our truck. All right. Got it. Look at that guy sitting there waiting for the train. It ain't never going to come. The train's sitting right there, about 20 yards from the station. And it ain't moving. I can't remember. I had a mod, I thought, that made the trains run. Didn't I? Did I have a mod that made the trains run? I can't recall. I'm gonna have to look into that. I thought I did. I have a I have a mod that made the trains run. Well, I'll look into that sometime. I'm debating whether to place down a uh, a seed factory. And I wanted to make seeds, but I'm a little leery about the production. It's, uh, I still haven't had anything verified for me that the new game update broke the production mods. I don't know. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Oh, you know what I could do? Uh, oh shoot, look at that. The, the fruit just went wackadoodle on me. Oh, I missed out. That field over there is no longer 
I don't think I can any longer fertilize it. This one's still growing, but that other one isn't. Um, the big crone here. Let's do the big crone M. This is the one that I told you kind of replaced Enterprise. Now, it was just here on the farm when I bought it, so I just kept it. I have not used this mod. This is an in-game mod. I've not used it, so I have no idea if it's a decent mod or not. Well, it's not really a mod. It's part of the game, but you know what I mean. There are mods of the big M um, that you can get that'll haul a trailer and stuff. I don't know if this one hauls a trailer or not. But let's go up and put it on field number nine. See if we can cut some grass. See how this is going to work for us. You can see where the where the field is. It's not. It's in the middle of that grass patch thingy there. So I'm actually not on the edge. There's the edge right there. So let's try this. And let me put the HUD on because I don't know what this piece of equipment does. Let's see. We can lower it. And I can, I don't see that it. Hmm. Okay, selected work mode, wide spreading. So it's on wide spreading. Will it will it let me do uh Hmm. Well, toggle work mode, left control Y or or what? Stop engines. Uh, turn more on. Toggle work mode right there. So left, left trigger down. That changes to swath, left swath, right swath, or wide spreading. We're just going to go swath dropping. Right? Okay, so let's do uh, field work and course generation. This is field nine. Field nine. All that's gonna be 10 meters here. We're gonna do, um, let's do one headland, see if that works okay for us. Generate the chorus. And then let's save it. Field 09 grass mow grass this is our summer job mowing lawns all right here we go let's see what happens I love how it lifts up did you see that it just puffed itself up like it's proud that's cool I want to see that again, but I don't want to stop him. He's working now. We don't want to interrupt a working man. By the way, who is this? This is uh, Darren Minnell mowing our lawn here. It's his new summer job. Rubicon has reached the end point. Okay, so let's go check on him. So far, the combine and uh, and and crop picking up has uh, picker upper is worked fairly well no hitches really a couple of little things but nothing bad okay this is a hundred percent fertilized now and no weeds so and this is canola so what was the other one we missed this one ready to harvest okay we missed it we can't do and this one is ready to harvest and so is the corn so we missed out on fertilizing this one so we're not going to get as good a yield Nothing I can do about that, I guess. But at least we did get this one done. So let's stop the driver. Close the course out. And get this guy back to the farm.
This must that must be the end of the line for that passenger rig there. That passenger train. It it goes into that building and then it just disappears. Isn't that cool? Huh, it looks like some of the equipment, uh, the trains have electricity. I wonder if they all do. I doubt it. I think some of them are diesel, aren't they? Okay, so we're going to need... We're going to need... Uh, hmm... I guess I've got this tractor. I don't know if I need this big a tractor for that quicker picker upper, but. Man, that thing's got a musical engine, doesn't it? I don't know if I did this tractor might be overkill for this rig now the grass may be heavy but the straws not well it's the tractor I've got so I'm gonna use it for now oh where am I going I want to go to the grass field then I'm gonna need it on the wheat field as well Now, I don't know where it's going to take the grass. Interesting. Um, all right, hang on. Let's do... I'm going to do field work. Let's choose uh, mow grass. All right, that's going to give me a starting point. So let's get on to the starting point. And turn that off. We're going to go to that one. Start course recording. Oh, boy, I don't know. Let's not do that because I don't know where the grass goes for sure. Yeah, we're going to have to wait and see. I'm not quite sure where the grass goes. So, uh, stop that. Get rid of it. Yeah. I'm going to have to grab some grass and see where it goes, but I don't want to do it right now. I'll wait. Let's go out to the wheat field and see if it's ready to pick up yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to start buying animals pretty soon. Okay, it's not quite ready, but let's check this thing out. Let's go here. We're going to go here. Field number one harvest. We got that there. Let's see where the start is. The start is right there. Okay, you know what? I don't know where the straw goes either. For sure. Let's just pick some up and find out where it goes. All right, let's go see where we put the straw. I 
I was hoping the straw would just go in the regular silo. I'll have to check. I haven't tried the silo yet with anything but corn and wheat so far. There is a straw. Well, we've got straw here, but is that storage or what is that? First of all, let's see if it'll go in the main silo. Because that's where I might want it to go just for storage purposes. Let's just see if it'll go in here. I don't think it does. Straw not accepted here. So it doesn't go there. I know there's a straw barn over yonder, I think. That's going to be a pain in the butt. See, I don't want to have to back in to store it. This is grass. This is straw. But I don't, like I said, I don't want to back in. I don't, I don't want any place I have to back into. And I think that's what's going to happen. That's not what I want. this is going to be very inconvenient for me and it says bales anyway this says bales so this isn't it yeah that's not it so where in the hell does it go okay I saw a barn but it's, I think it might be the same thing that you have to back into it let's go find out this is where the uh, beets and sugar sugar beets and potatoes go. You remember where the um, Massey Ferguson was? Right there? That's the straw barn. But... Oh, man. I don't want to have to back into it. Hang on. Let me get this tractor out of the way. Okay, get out of here. And there's a. Come on. Is that just a cell point? Because I can't go all the way through it. Um. What's on the train tracks? There's something on the train track there. Okay, tell you what, I'm gonna try to back in here and see what that does for me. I can't see that it's letting me do anything. And now my tractor's stuck. Okay. All right, let me try something here. What's around the back of the building? Oh, there, 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 there. All right, okay. I see it. Silly me. I should have looked at the back of the building in the first place. Okay. This is the same building we had on... Um, what was that other farm? It wasn't Canada or Canada. Okay, there it is. 
Okay, that's not selling it, is it? That's that's storing it. Okay, this is going to be tight back here with these silly trees. But we can work with it, I guess. Oh, and here's here's a way in. Okay, we'll use this way. Somebody's in trouble. Oh, he's not really slipping. They have trouble when they get to the end of the field. All right, we'll let him go. Now, I think that I can go ahead and... oh. What do we got here? Stop rows. Let's go find our combine. And the combine is not on this end. Probably clear down the other end. But that makes this one clear. I think this field, let's stop. Take a look. Okay, it needs liming and it needs plowing, so we need to do that. Should we plow first or lime first? Good question, eh? We should lime first. Someone try that new lime machine, and then we'll plow it, and then... I think the reason why I was plowing before and then liming was because if there was lime on the field, I knew that it was ready to be seeded. And not just plowed, if you know what I mean. All right, start this guy up. Put the pipe out. Empty him up. And let's fold up the header. And then let's bring the pipe in. Fold up the combine. Put everything away nice and neat. What's on 13? We own 13. I'm not quite sure what's on it. Got some big fields, for sure. We do have another cornfield that's ready, though, so I might as well just leave the, the header on his. Now, by the way... I have two combines, but I only have one header. I have one grain header and one corn header, so I'm gonna probably need to buy another uh, header for each one if I double up on them at any time. I'm leaving the corn header on this right now because I have sunflower seeds and I also have uh, corn to do, so I'm gonna be using this header. Okay, it looks like he's done. And I'm sure, well, I shouldn't say I am. I'm fairly sure that the grass will go where the straw goes because that building looked just like the other uh, farm that I was playing that had a building on that. I can't remember the name of the farm. gonna do the corn first I guess oh my god that's a big train track I forgot about Saxony having those kind of train tracks up on they're almost like the tracks are on a pedestal I'm gonna do the same thing and just hire a worker
and then we'll get our corn truck back. Let's get him off of this route, this course. Um, get rid of that for now. field is huge, isn't it? Not very wide, but as long as I'll get out. Oh, I heard some water right in the middle of the field. Must be an aquifer underneath. I'm just going to park this fella right here for now. And I'm wondering, I forgot about the uh, Lamborghini. I wonder if the Lamborghini will pull that. Will pull that. Uh, whoa! The straw picker upper, the quicker picker upper. We should try it. But it, this, it may not, but um, the Lamborghini does pretty good. I'll tell you what I should do. I think, that, I think the John Deere is tougher than the Lamborghini as far as engine. Maybe I should swap out because I think the, well, I don't know how heavy the lime is. The Lamborghini does pretty good. Let's try that. Let's swap out the John Deere. And see if the Lamborghini will pull that okay. I don't know. That's pretty heavy. Oh no, that's pretty heavy. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. I might have to, uh, hmm, interesting. You know what I should probably do? That was pretty heavy. Uh, lime is pretty heavy, I would think. I wonder if I shouldn't use the John Deere to pull the quicker picker upper, because I know it works, and use that big thing to run the lime. Know what I mean? Where is it, anyway? I think this will pull that, especially if it's just straw. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of work to do, as you can see, and unfortunately, I think it's the end of my episode. I'm running out of time, so I'm going to end it here. I uh, hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like, share it with a friend, subscribe if you would, uh, if you haven't, and I will see you back on the farm in the next episode. In the meantime, happy farming.